What's up YouTube, this is GeForce from S3 Gaming. I'm doing a video on my new build, and here's my old build, which was an Intel i7-970 with 12 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. And here's my new build, which is an AMD Ryzen 1700X at 3.4 and 16 gigs of DDR4 memory. I'm using the same video card in both, and I added a Samsung 960 Pro M.2. Here's my benchmarks on my old system from Rainbow Six Siege. And as you can see, the overall uh, low was 47.9, uh, average was 99.8, and max was 213.3. Here is the benchmarks on Rainbow Six Siege with my new system. Uh, the minimum is now up to 82.9, Average is 127.2 and max is 187.9. I noticed a big improvement, even though this is using the same video card for both systems, and that's all processor driven. So when you take a look at both of them when you, in comparison, we increased from 47.9 to 82.9 on the minimum frames, 99.8 to 122.7 on the average frames. Max frames actually goes down a little bit, not sure why. My old system here had a pass mark rating of 34, 13.7, which put it in the 77th percentile, which is sort of what I expected. The CPU mark was 84, 17.3, and that was in the 75th percentile. And the disk mark using a regular SSD was in the 73rd percentile, 260.80. The whole point of doing the upgrade was to get access to new technology like M.2 and USB 3.1 with the new architecture. And with my new system, the score 5819.9 puts it in the 99th percentile. The CPU mark is in the 99th percentile. The disk mark is in the 99th percentile. But when you compare the two, you see that the CPU mark is 8417 with the 75th percentile, and the CPU mark for the new system is 15745.7 in the 99th percentile. Here's a pass mark from a friend of mine who did an Intel 7700K setup, which was what I was looking at at the beginning of the year, but I decided to wait and see what the AMD Ryzen brought. So comparing his pass mark numbers to my pass mark numbers, you see that his is in the 95th percentile on the CPU mark. Uh, his hard drive is probably the difference between the M.2 and mine. The memory is actually more optimized on the Intel motherboards. There's an issue right now with the AMD 4 or the Ryzen processors and their motherboards and the memory speeds. I think with the BIOS upgrades that'll be coming soon, that'll go away. I'm not able to actually run my memory at full speed at this point, so I think that's hurting, definitely hurting my memory scores and probably hurting my 3D Mark scores as well. So just waiting for those to come through and then I'll probably run another test to compare. Overall, I'm pretty happy with my choice. I was able to get eight cores, 16 threads at a price about what I was gonna pay for a 7700K system. And I'm getting a lot of frames per second in the games I play like Rainbow Six Siege. And my benchmarks and my rendering time for videos is much faster than my old system. I hope you enjoyed this very quick review on my new system compared to my old system and even the 7700K. For now, this is GeForce from S3 Gaming, signing off. <laughs> <laughs> like a hacker! hacker.